I think that is the reason. So we will see if CJ can get the 2-0 here. Probably, but it's interesting that we're seeing some newer picks here. Coco playing the Varus, I believe, probably for the first time professionally. Yeah. Should be. Yeah. yeah. On his Gnar in order to deal with it. Well, CJ going after the Dragon here, and I'd imagine it should be pretty easy to take. Maybe I spoke too soon, though. Matt Life having to use his Flash Space, popping that ultimate. Meanwhile, they're trying to pre prevent this Dragon. Catch does get it, though. Mad Life uses his ultimate. Absolute Zero comes in from Ambition. Coco doing a lot of damage here, but they need to be careful because that Sejuani ult. There it is. Hemo Plague goes down as well. And Spenu pushing back CJ here. Sasson a bit low, though. Space comes in to try to get the kill, but the pool is going to turn it around. First Blood actually going over to Vivid here. Nuclear gets another one as well. Shy coming in to turn things around. He's going to try anyway, but that's a double kill for Nuclear. And look at that, Spenu, Coco, trying to get the kill, can't do it against Catch. Wow. And they ace them. So Spenu gets a dragon and aces CJ at the cost of only Sasson. Right. CJ needs to focus on just grouping up his five and then kiting with their... Oh, Coco. Oh, he missed. Used. I don't think he's going to get it. Yep, Sasson picks up that kill. Ambition coming in to try to help out his mid laner, but that may have been an error. Vivid, nice headbutt, knocks Ambition in there. Ambition can't quite get Sasson. He got out of the absolute zero. Another kill onto Sasson, and CJ kind of falling apart. Pushing away, can't do anything there. Knock up onto Nuclear. Chains of Corruption wow. used. They only catch catch, though. Space coming in with a bit of damage. Nice equalizer comes out for Shy. Can CJ turn this one around? Two kills already, one for each side. And so far, Spenu looking like they're going to come out on top of this one. They get that second kill. Sasson taking a turret hit. Wave hits the turret, and then they get free autos on the turret with the Varus and the Sivir. So you can't do that. Righteous Glory. Oh, here we go. Ult onto Shy only. Can CJ turn this one around? Shy getting very low. Nice zoning by Ambition here. Coco still okay, doing a decent amount of damage. Mad Life in space, relatively untouched so far. So the engage for Spenu takes out Shy, but CJ, I don't know if they can get anything more out of this. They're chasing down. They really want to get a kill onto Soul, but he's so tanky right now, yeah. Very, very short. Curiously short. Well, Shy in the run right now, in danger of getting dived, but he's going to make it out. And this is going to give CJ an opportunity to go in onto Sasson here. Sasson in a lot of trouble, waiting. There's a pool. Can they get him? He popped that Hemo Plague as well, too. Ambition picks that kill off. Where did his... Has all the armor penetration he needs, has the cooldown boots. This is the peak of Varus in a game of League of Legends right now, given the current itemization. And no Frozen Heart on the top laner yet. They're actually just going to go... Wow. They do not have to go for this Baron right now. That seems very brave. Ambition, I think CJ uh, space knows is what's up. Side. Oh, yeah, Space is way out of position right now. Can CJ even fight this? The poking coming in from Varus may be a problem. Sasson taking a big damage. There's the equalizer. They're going to turn around on this. CJ may have gotten a little bit too close. Shy in the middle of everything there. Mad Life trying to push people away. There's a kill on to Coco already. Good turnaround by Spenu. And without Space there until the very end, there wasn't a lot that CJ could do. That's going to be tough, no matter what the gold score is right now. Yeah, and what the compositions are. Yeah. Spenu's still really wanting to take this Baron. Going to clear out some wards right there. There's a large wave developing in bottom side. They can't ignore this unless they all in Baron, right? Okay, they are going to do it, I guess. All right, well, there's still a ward there, and CJ knows what's up. Now everyone is there, so can CJ fight it? Here comes the teleport for Spenu. They're going to turn around, and the poking is getting pretty serious from Coco right now. Mad Life going in, and there's a flash. Just advance, goes on to Shy. Space actually in a pretty good position here, as is Coco. CJ turning this one around a little bit. There's a kill for Coco. They take out the top laner, Mad Life with a great heal there. Vivid comes in to try to make something happen. They are able to get the kill. Oh, never mind. Nuclear is playing Jinx. <laughs> so there's a double kill. Ambition, a lot of trouble now. That was so close. CJ nearly had that fight, but... Aaron, like you're saying, so. Yeah. Oh, knock up on the catch. They may have caught him again. That was a pretty big whirlwind. And CJ does have the speed shrine here, too. The poke coming in for Coco. They're doing that dragon. Ambition going deep. Pops that absolute zero. Gets knocked out of it, though. Equalizer comes down, and they need to kite this very careful if they want to win the fight. Vivid having to flash away. Flame Chopper's not catching anybody, though. And here we go. Now Soul and Vivid coming back in. They lock up Mad Life and Shy for just a moment. But the poke 
really helping out CJ now. They're going to turn this dragon. Coco snipes out Sassen. They get the dragon as well. And that is the kind of fight that CJ needs to do. Just slow, methodical, poking out Spenu. Spenu did not decide whether they wanted to engage that fight or to stay doing the dragon. True. And Sassen now... stayed there and lost all of his HP to poke and dragon, just trying to stick to the objective. And now. Well, they now, may be uh, able Baron to get the down. dragon and the Baron, so a huge turnaround from CJ. Well, this is what we've been talking about the entire time. CJ, shy, waiting for a good equalizer here. And is CJ actually going to try to bait this Baron? I feel like this is a bit risky if they do. No, in fact, this is a poor decision from CJ. Yeah, this is overly well, risky. Teleport coming in. Okay, they need to back off immediately. They just needed to yeah, protect their tier two. That's oh. all the only reason they started that. Okay, alt used, and they don't even bother to use a cleanse or anything. Ambition with a pretty good zoning. Can they poke? Soul getting poked a little bit by Coco. There's a knockup and ambition space. A little bit awkwardly positioned here. Mad Life, there we go. The flash ahead. So it's advance onto Shy. Mad Life backing away. Shy getting out as well. Coco still okay. Hemoplague did a lot of damage, though. Coco manages to get the kill on to catch. And CJ taking that fight for now. Now, Nuclear hasn't Shy been has touched TP. yet. Yeah, Shy can come back fairly soon. Now, CJ going for this Baron. Man, again, this seems so risky with a full health Jinx still. Shy's coming in. Oh, boy, yep. Shy is trying to come in. There's a knockup anyway. Ambition getting very low. Space in the pit with Vivid. Vivid on his own. Baron gets taken out by CJ. Shy, they advance onto him. Nuclear taken down. Double kill for Shy. And now there goes Sazen. CJ gets the ace. And with death timers like that, you've got to imagine that's going to be close to the end of the game, if not the end of the game. Yeah, especially since it's only going to be their jungler coming back up soon. So that yeah. is pretty much an Should invitation to go ahead and pile on through straight onto the Nexus. And man, Spenu did a good job of getting the lead in this game, but yeah. they made a lot of mistakes in terms of closing and how to apply pressure. And eventually, CJ was able to catch them out. That's right. So in the end, it will be a 2-0 for CJ Antis. Spenu looking a little bit better, but CJ still proving they are the veteran team. They are the better team, and they go home with the 2-0. Well, both teams a little bit frustrating here. I mean, CJ took that very poor early dragon fight to dig themselves into a hole, yeah. and Spenu looked like they were doing the right things to get back on track and to start really taking out turrets, but. I mean, Spenu never even got a tier two in that game, despite having a Vladimir who is very ahead, who is capable of split pushing. Yeah. And they overcommitted to certain objectives, uh, just poor late game objective control. Couldn't decide whether they wanted to finish the dragon or actually turn in that fight that uh, CJ managed to poke them down in. So Spenu has some stuff to work on, but their early game at least seems relatively solid.